Yo, what is up guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here today. We're going to show you guys a really cool card trick. But before we get into that, we do have a giveaway going on on our channel. We're giving away three pairs of AirPods. So if you guys want to be entered in this giveaway, first of all, make sure to like this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Turn those notifications on, which is the bell icon. Make sure to comment at least one time on our YouTube channel. Also, we'll have a link in our description to our Instagram where you got to follow us and also like our post. And then we also have a link to our Amazon page that will be in the description down below if you guys are interested in getting anything from Amazon, especially since we're in quarantine. We'll have a link in the description where you guys can check out our Amazon website page. And anyways, guys, we got a really cool card trick for you guys today. Let's get right so, on into it. Robert, what we're gonna start out here, we're gonna use the deck of cards. And what I want you to do is I'm gonna have you go ahead and select a card. So we're gonna do this. I'm actually going to let you look at the card so you can go ahead and pick your selection. Just call stop. Stop. Now, would you like the seven or the two? The two of spades. You want the two of spades. That's perfect. Two of spades, your selection. Now, Robert, do you think, in all fairness, that that was a free choice? Yeah, that's pretty free. You think it was a free choice? Yeah. This is what we're going to do here, Robert. We're going to try something a little special, and I'm going to see if I can try to get your card to stand out in a way that the other cards don't. All I'm going to do is give a finger a little snap and a little shake. Now, Robert, you'll see here, once I take the cards out of the box, they're starting to look a little bit different. In fact, all the cards look a little bit different, except for one. Blue card. Now, Robert, go ahead and tell me, what was your card? The two of spades. The two of spades. Set that down right here, and I can show you 100% that all the cards in the deck have actually turned red. But, you know, we never just want one blue card in the deck. We need it to be a full deck, so the same process applies. We just snap our fingers, give the cards a little shake, and your same two of spades will turn back to red. So the whole deck is actually red. That was the trick, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a really cool trick. Um, this is actually a Chris Angel card trick, so I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, let's get straight into how this one is done. So, this is actually going to use a little gimmick, so we're going to talk about that in a second. All you're going to need for this trick, you will need two decks of cards. Now, you're going to actually need a red deck and a blue deck. Now, you can obviously use any two colors you want, but whatever deck you're using, you're going to need the opposite color deck box. So, in this case... I have the red deck, but I have the blue box. So that's the sort of setup that you're going to need to use um, for the trick, right? Other than that, you're going to need a gimmick, and this is a double backer. So all you need to do for this, you can one, purchase a double backer, uh, but it is a special one. You're going to need two different colors on it. What you can do is take two cards, just like I did here, take some double-sided tape, stick the cards together, and go from there. So that is all you have to do to make your double backer. Now, this is a pretty simple trick, guys. Really, the only thing you have to know in order to accomplish this trick is a double lip. That is pretty much it. Other than that, it's a pretty simple trick, so I think you guys will be able to pick it up pretty easily. Um, it's just about selling the effect. Now, you don't necessarily need the box. Um, I will make that clear. You don't really need it, uh, but it does actually very much help out with the overall effect of the trick. Um, just because you're trying to do your best to convince people that the full deck is actually blue. So the way you do that is just like so. You show a blue card on top and then you show a blue box. When you start the trick out, when you start the trick, no one's going to expect that you have a red deck, right? I mean, they're going to see the blue box, they're going to see the blue card, they're going to say, oh, he has a blue deck of cards. They don't even know you're trying to do a color changing deck trick. They don't know any of that. Um, and that's what adds to the effect. A lot of times, um, and I stress this a lot, is that people tend to overanalyze and overcomplicate the trick because they know how it's done. You have to understand when you go up to like spectators, they don't know what you're doing. They don't know the trick. They don't know how it's done. So you don't have to worry about that in that regard, okay? But anyway, starting the trick, you can start out with the deck in the box. Make sure you know uh, the orientation that you put the deck in. So in this case, I like to put the blue card so it faces with this uh, design on the back of the box. You can put it the other way. It doesn't really matter necessarily if you take it out the wrong way, but um, I like to know just so I can bring it out um, just like so. So we start out, you start out with the deck, 
serve this on the table. Once again, you're just trying to convince them that this is a blue deck. Don't talk about it. Don't be like, oh, we have a blue deck, blue deck, blue deck. Just let it be. They know it's a blue deck. So you start out, take the deck out of the box, and you're going to tell the spectator that they're going to have the opportunity to select a card. Any card they want. And in fact, what you're going to do is you're going to give them a free selection. They can actually look at the card. So what I do here is I'm going to flip the deck face up. And from here, all you have to do is now take the deck. You're going to turn it and basically cut the deck in half just like so. That's all you have to do. You just take the deck, cut it in half. And now you're going to now peel cards off one by one just like so. And once you're done that, you have them call stop at any point. So they can call stop wherever they want. Let's say they call stop right here. What you want to do is you want to ask them to specify, do they want the king or do they want the six? It doesn't really matter necessarily what they want. They can pick either card. However, whichever card they select is the card you're going to have to put in your opposite hand. So in this case, let's say they wanted the six. I would pull the six off just like so. If they wanted the king, we just keep the king where it is, right? So they get to pick. So let's say we're going to go with the king for this one. All you're going to do from here is take this entire packet and place it on top. Now what this is doing is just putting the double backer right underneath their selection. So once again, you're gonna go just like so, set that on top, and from here, you gotta make sure that you don't turn the deck face up. If you turn the deck face up, you're giving away the trick, and that's not gonna be good. What you wanna do is take the entire deck, put it into the box, and now it's the basically the job of the magician to now sell the trick that you're changing the deck. So what I like to do is I like to talk about, oh, we're gonna change the color of the cards, we're gonna change the color of the deck, or you could say we're gonna make your card stand out in some sort of way, right? So all you have to do from here is now take the deck out. If you really wanted to, you could take it out of the box and reveal the red. And they're automatically, this is the first part of the trick, they're automatically going to be shocked because obviously they thought they were dealing with a blue deck of cards. But now they're looking at a red deck, right? So that is going to be the sort of magic part behind it. That's magic number one. Now there's several parts of the trick. So what I'm going to do is you're going to start spreading the deck out. And I like to set down a few cards at a time and you'll, you'll understand why in a little bit. You're just going to go through, set some cards down, set some cards down, until you get to that final blue card. Now, you have to be very careful here. Do not put that last card down and go to the, straight to the blue because this is actually their card. What you have to do is as you're spreading off and you're setting the cards down, you need to make sure you, that you keep that one card on top of their selection. So in this case, once I get there, I'm going to put all these cards down, leave this card on top. You can continue spreading out if you wanted to, but you don't have to. What I do here is I like to spread out. I say, we have one blue card. I'm going to out jog that card. As I pull it out, what I'm doing is I'm then taking this selection, which is actually their card. I'm going to pull it back in, maintain a pinky break, and place this blue card on top. At this point, it's just a simple double lift. You do the double lift, and you say, okay, check this out. We have the king, and it's your king, the only blue card in the deck. But... What you have to do here is now set it down, and this is actually a red card, obviously. What really just happened was you basically took the double backer and you flipped it over. So now it appears red, right? And that's the other part of the trick. So what you're going to do here, once again, just go here. You're going to be in this position. Take their card out. Place it on top. You're going to do your double lift. And once you get that double lift, you set their card down. And from here, once again, you do have this double backer here. So you're going to sell this. Don't flip it over. Basically, spread through the rest of the deck. Say, check it out. The entire deck is actually red. Now, at this point, you're just trying to sell the idea that this card is still blue and that you're going to change it. Take the card. You're going to put it into the box. And this is just like the sort of consistency part of the trick where you're going to want to do the same idea just to make everything work out. So I put the entire deck in the box. I make the deck change color. Now that I want to make this change color, I'm going to put it back in the box. From there, you're going to shake it up. Say, okay, check it out. You take the card out of the box. Say, still your king, but now it's actually turned red. And then you can show the entire deck has actually turned red. Now, guys, that is the entire trick. I hope you enjoyed this one. Now, once again, we are using a brand new camera in this video. Um, let us know in the comment section whether or not the camera quality is better. We are just going off the mic that is in the camera, so we're not actually using an external mic right now. Let us know how the audio quality is. Let us know how the video quality looks. Um, just in general, whether or not you prefer this one or the other one. And make sure you guys enter into the giveaway, guys. We're really, really close to 150K. But that is it for today, guys. This is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.